Welcome to Blackboard Training on Video. In this segment, we're going to show you how to use the Blackboard Collaborate interface. This session will explain how to log in and open Collaborate, launch a Collaborate session, run the audio setup wizard, then we'll take a few minutes to review the interface, showing you the talk and video buttons, participant list and options, the chat feature, and review the whiteboard, application sharing, and web tour options. Finally, we'll show you how to access and review an archive session. First, log into Blackboard. Once logged in, locate your course and click on it. There are two options for accessing Blackboard Collaborate. Your instructor may have a link to Blackboard Collaborate on the course menu. If not, click Tools. In the Tools section, click Blackboard Collaborate. This will open the Blackboard Collaborate list page. Click the link for the Collaborate session. The session will launch automatically. This is the Collaborate interface. Upon entering the interface, you should always run the Setup Wizard. The Setup Wizard is in the upper right-hand corner on the Audio and Video menu. Click the Setup Wizard to begin. The Setup Wizard includes a series of prompts that will allow you to adjust the volume of your headphones and the output of your microphone. Choose an output device and click OK. Then follow the prompts to complete the Audio Setup Wizard. You'd notice a screen below the Audio Setup Wizard. This is your video screen. The video screen will allow you to see your instructor as he's speaking to you. If you have a camera set up, you can also click video to turn the camera on and transmit video. When acknowledged by the moderator, click the talk button to activate the microphone. Click the talk button again to disable the microphone. Below the audio video menu is the participants menu. This menu lists all of the participants in the session. In addition, you can communicate with the moderator or other participants by using the emoticons. The emoticons allow you to communicate with the moderator or other users when you're confused, agree or disagree with what they say, or if you feel the pace of the session is too fast or too slow. In contrast, you can also applaud their efforts or give them a positive response. Use the step away button to inform the moderator and other participants when you've stepped away from your computer. The ask question button allows us to raise our hand to ask a question. Most moderators will use the raise hand option as a way to inform them that a student wishes to speak. Polling. Moderators can ask a yes or no or multiple choice question using the polling option. When asked the question, just choose yes, no, or the best answer to answer the polling question. Below the participants list is chat. The chat window lists the conversation between participants and the moderator. To participate in chat, locate the chat window and type a statement. You can add an emoticon. Hit return when finished. The larger area in the main part of the screen is the whiteboard. The instructor has two choices with the whiteboard. They can display a blank page or they can display a PowerPoint slide. The moderator can also interact with the PowerPoint slide by highlighting important information. The moderator can also display or share an application. Application sharing allows the instructor to share an application such as Microsoft Excel, Word, PDF documents, or even a PowerPoint slide presentation. The instructor can also interact with the session, for example, showing students how formulas work within a spreadsheet. Another option the moderator has is called a web tour. The web tour allows a monitor to share a website with you. You may follow along as the moderator moves from page to page. Notice in the upper right hand corner you see a recording icon. The recording icon means that the session is being recorded. When the moderator ends the recording and ends the session, you can still return to that session and play the archive of that session. I'm going to exit out of this session and return to my Blackboard. I'll click my Collaborate to re-enter Blackboard Collaborate. Then click the Previously Recorded tab. My sessions are archived here. Click Play to play the recorded session. That concludes this review of Blackboard Collaborate. 
please feel free to return to the session at any time to review the features of the Blackboard Collaborate interface.